One of the reasons why I'm running for president is because what Donald Trump has done to this country. He's made her family afraid to worship. He has spread fear and hate and degradation across this country. He has spewed hate, racism, anti-Semitism, and has inspired more. Now, Donald Trump did not create hate and racism and bigotry and anti-Semitism. But what he has done is poured fuel on a fire that is raging more than I've ever seen it in my lifetime. Hate crimes have gone up exponentially all across my state, all across the country, because of what President Trump has unleashed. I have the courage to stand up for him, to stand up against him. I have the courage to fight what needs to be done, because it's not just about him. It's the corruption and greed that destroys everything in Washington. It makes it impossible to do the right thing, to make it impossible to end gun violence, to make it impossible to pass health care as a right, not a privilege, to make it impossible to take on the drug company, companies on the opioid crises. So that's really what we're up against. And so each one of us has a choice today to say, will we defend this democracy? Will we as Americans fight for what we believe in? Will we as Americans reject the hate that her family has to go through every day? Will we say this is not who we are as Americans? Will we take back that right to vote through making sure we have voting rights? Will you kick money out of politics and make sure we have publicly funded elections? Will you fight with every fiber of your being because everything that you care about is at stake? Let's, let's just talk about national security for one minute. I know from law enforcement that this Muslim ban, this hatred about Muslims means that Muslims are afraid to work with law enforcement, afraid to come forward to make sure our communities are safe, as they always have. I am a senator from New York State. We are still often the number one terror target in this country. So I spend so much time and effort getting resources for our first responders to make sure they can have the money they need, to make sure we deal with terrorism. I've been on the Armed Services Committee for 10 years. I focus on how we defeat terrorism worldwide. But I promise you, you do not defeat terrorism by being hateful. And let me tell you another thing. When I went to Syria, and God bless your mother, to survive those refugee camps, I met with mothers that could well have been your mother. And they looked me in the eye and they said, you are so afraid of Osama bin Laden. When you turn a blind eye to people suffering here in Syria, you're creating thousands every day. So that is what Donald Trump is creating. He's making us less safe. His hatred makes us less safe. His Muslim ban makes us less safe. So I will protect this country. I will make sure that we are safe, but I will make sure that we remember we are at our best when we love one another, when we treat others the way we want to be treated, when we believe in the golden rule and we care about the least among us.